St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner and we have a fantastic traditional Irish dish, which would be Irish soda bread, all thanks to Angie. <laughs> so Angie, how do we make our own Irish soda bread? Okay, so this is one of the easiest things you can do for St. Patrick's Day uh, to get you in the spirit. This is three cups of flour and one cup of cake flour. Okay. Lightens up the traditional really heavy, very dense. So. Okay. You give it a little whisk to make sure I it's <laughs> And I, I, for one, I love Irish soda bread. I know that it may not be everyone's cup of tea, if you will, um, but the, the dense Slice breads. of bread. And in here, I have baking soda, cream okay. of tartar, oh. and salt. Then the next part is, it's very simple. We're gonna knock these in here. Do you like to cut butter into flour? Well, let's talk about cutting butter into okay. flour. Why is it important that you're doing that opposed to just kind of taking a chunk of butter and shoving it in there? Um, if you do the chunks of butter, you'll end up with big greasy messes of grossness in the middle of your bread. <laughs> you don't want and, that. And yeah, and it won't be as cohesive and delicious. Okay, all right, so then how do we cut butter into a flour base? Yep, so you're usually gonna want it room temperature. Okay. About one inch size chunks. Okay. Uh, uh, you can do it with a food processor or a hand mixer. For those of you who don't have those, okay. a little pastry blender works just well. Okay, so the whole idea then is to have like an even distribution yes. of the butter. You want the butter to be about pea-sized or a little bit smaller for this recipe. Is, is this Angie approved? I approve. Okay, all right. Yep. This is like one of the most signature things of yes. Irish soda bread. Some people like the currants, some people don't. If you don't, then mm -hmm. don't put them in. So I just, it's like a handful, about a okay. half a cup or so, more or less, if you like them. But, and you wanna make sure you kind of sprinkle those in so they're not stuck in big globs. Uh, this is just buttermilk. It'll help retain the moisture and make your cohesive. This is considered a quick bread because it really doesn't take much to mix it up. Love it, okay, great. And then you mix it until it just holds together and then we'll knead it a few times in the bowl and then it's ready to go in the oven. And that's it. So super simple bread. The trick is with any quick bread, you don't want to over mix them or they can get a lot denser and tougher than you want. Good. All right. Then we're going to bring it over here to this cookie sheet. And swap you out. And you're going for about a six to seven inch circle and about two inches deep. Okay. And then you take the knife and you're gonna score an a big X about a half inch deep on the top. It's like you're a professional. It's like I've done that before. You've done it. <laughs> and then you pop awesome. it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, and you know what, while I do this, Voila, the magic of magic television. Magic of television, use your pot holders. We have one already in there. And voila, look at that. That is good looking soda bread. That's it. Oh wow, look at that. So golden on top, you got the crunch on the outside. That's what I love about Irish soda bread. I'm mm -hmm. gonna dive into this, my friend. Do it. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, mm, -hmm. mm. mm. mm -hmm. So Angie's gonna show us stew next, so make sure you keep it here on Idaho Today to learn your next Irish recipe. Thank you, Angie. You're welcome.